Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh with FatIsNotYourFault.com. And what I'll be talking about today is what I consider to be the best blood sugar management uh, evaluation tool that you could possibly have. And it's simply a glucometer. A glucometer is a very inexpensive tool that you can purchase at any drugstore or even places like Target or Walmart carry these as well. You can get them for as inexpensive as about $20 and it can tell you more about your ability to manage blood sugar than almost any other marker. Now, is it fallible? Yes, of course. All tests are, are fallible to some degree, but this is a great test. And please talk with your doctor if you have a blood sugar issue before doing this test. So this is called the glucose tolerance test. And here's basically how it works. Is you go down to Walmart or the local drugstore or pharmacy and you pick up a $20 glucometer. Glucometers are used to basically put a, a very small uh, prick into your uh, finger and you can extract a little bit of blood and it can measure your blood sugar levels. So here's what you do. <clears throat> on a day when you don't have much going on first thing in the morning, so a weekend is usually a good day for people to do this, you take your baseline glucose level. So first thing in the morning you wake up, you don't eat anything, you can maybe have a little of water if you want, you can brush your teeth, but basically you wake up you don't do any kind of exercise or activity. You don't go out and mow the lawn first. You wake up and you take your first glucometer test to find out what your baseline is. So let's say somebody has a baseline glucose level of about 90. Then what you do is you want to drink about 75 grams of a high glycemic drink. Now this can be about 12 ounces of grape juice. Uh, they also sell a glucose tolerance test in most drugstores or pharmacies. You can use that as well and they're very inexpensive. But you take your baseline first thing in the morning upon waking up. Then you drink whatever solution you choose, about 75 grams of carbohydrate, like I said, about 12 to 16 ounces of grape juice, depending on the grape juice, or the glucose tolerance test. We'll usually have uh, 50 to 75 grams of glucose in them. Then, 20 minutes later, you take your next glucose reading. 20 minutes after that, you take your next glucose reading. 20 minutes after that, you take your next glucose reading, then 30 minutes later, and then 30 minutes later again. So, when you add this up, this is an hour, and this is another hour. So this whole thing will take you two hours. And I'll tell you just about in a minute what to look for. Here's, here's a key point in making this work. You cannot do anything during this two hour period of time. You basically sit on the couch, read a book, watch TV, or do something otherwise relaxing, not stimulating, so you don't want to play video games that maybe stress you out. You don't want to go do laundry or the dishes or anything. You really just want to relax so that you can see how your body reacts to a blood sugar or a glucose load. Okay, so here's some possibilities as to what you might see. Again, you take your first baseline when you first wake up, you drink a solution. 20 minutes after that, you drank that solution, you take another blood sugar reading. 20 minutes after this, you take another one. 20 minutes again, 30 minutes later, and 30 minutes later, then you uh, can plot your results. And here are some things that you might see. Now, in normal healthy glucose, let's say a uh, healthy upper end is 100, a healthy lower end is 80. And uh, of course, too high might be something like 200, and too low might be something like 60. Okay, so we'll talk first about what you might see in a normal blood sugar response. So let's say your initial response in the first uh, glucose level, so we'll, by the way, do 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 120 minutes. So your first one was at 90. Let's say at 20 minutes you were around 120. At 40 minutes you might have been around 110. At 60 minutes you might have been down around 100. 90 minutes, about maybe 95. And after two hours, you're back down to your original starting point. So this would be a fairly normal blood sugar curve or blood sugar response or insulin response to that 75 gram of glucose load. Now some people might suggest that this would go down a little bit more quickly and kind of level out, but the point is, is it doesn't go up too high, it doesn't drop down too low, and that you end where you started from. Now here's another response. If you have hypoglycemic tendencies, and this is early insulin resistance very often, to be honest with you. Let's say this individual also had an initial blood sugar of 90, but after 20 minutes, they spiked up to, let's say, around 180. And then after uh, 20 minutes, around 40 minutes, maybe they dropped down back to around, let's say, 100. 
and then after 60 minutes they were down to 80, 90 minutes maybe down to 60, and then 120 minutes maybe they rose up and they're a little bit high. So this would be a, a typical uh, response in somebody that hypoglycemic tendencies. Now hypoglycemic tendencies, what this is really saying is you have normal fasting blood sugar, but then your body responds and you get too much blood sugar into your bloodstream. Your body responds really well. In fact, it produces too much insulin, and that, that's why this is referred to as early insulin resistance. If you get too much insulin, it will drive your blood sugar down too low, which becomes an emergency for your brain, and then your body will release other hormones to try to get blood sugar back up. This tendency is, like I said, mostly hypoglycemic tendency and consider, be considered to be early insulin resistance. Let's talk about a last possibility. Somebody again starts with a baseline of 90, but let's say they jump up to maybe 200 at 20 minutes, and at 40 minutes they're about 180, and 160, or at 60 minutes they're sort of dropping down, and they never really even return to baseline at the end. This would be a classic insulin resistant type patient or individual. This is somebody, their blood sugar grows up too high based on that load, and insulin is not adequate enough to actually get it into the system. Maybe they lack insulin, maybe the insulin receptors aren't working, but for some reason they're not getting glucose out of their bloodstream and into the cells where it needs to be. So this is called the glucose tolerance test. All you need is a glucometer. It's very easy to do. Please talk with a licensed uh, medical practitioner or your doctor before doing this. But this can tell you volumes about how well you're actually managing blood sugar better than most standard single uh, blood chemistries. Thank you very much and I hope you found this helpful.